This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And today I want to address some comments that I get on my videos about diatomaceous earth. Now I own my own pest control company. I've owned my own pest control company for over eight years. I, um, I'm completely transparent with you guys. So I get a lot of comments about why. So I'm, I'm actually, I disagree in the use of, of diatomaceous earth. I don't think it should be used uh, by the general public as a pest control product. Um, so first I want to address the, well, you know, if it's food grade, I can use it. Um, it won't hurt me because it's food grade. This is not true. Um, there's lots of things that are labeled food grade that you can't inhale into your lungs, like water. Water can be considered food grade. You can drink it, but you can't inhale it. Uh, diatomaceous earth is something people have been using for a dietary supplement for years for anti-parasitic and things like that. I'm not a doctor. I don't know how successful that is, how, you know, it works, but you know, it's not the same thing as breathing it into your lungs. So first I want to address that. You cannot breathe it into your lungs. It's a silicate similar to asbestos or Semexa. Semexa is also a silicate. It's a silica powder. Now it's not as harmful as, you know, other types of silicates are, but it is a silicate and you should never breathe it in. So a lot of people will actually argue and they'll say that, well, uh, as long as you wear a dust mask or a respirator, you won't breathe it in. You know, you need to do that while you're applying uh, diatomaceous earth. And while that is true, you should always wear a dust mask or a respirator, at least a dust mask, but I would actually recommend a respirator for applying a dust so that you, you know, eliminate all risks of inhalation. Um, the thing is, is that once you apply it, the, the way that I have seen people apply dust, and this is why I don't recommend using dust, People will put it all over their mattress. They'll put it on their box spring. They'll put it all around their bed frame. They put it on the floor. They'll put it, uh, you know, just about anywhere. I mean, anybody could just be exposed to it. It's out in the open. You, you don't want to put a dust where people will be exposed to it continuously. I know it's not in the air, at least that you think. You think it's not in the air, but I want to explain something to you. If you've ever sat in a room as the sun rays are shining through the window and see the dust particles that actually float in the air, it's completely normal to have dust stir up in your home. As you walk through the house, as you, you know, just, just as the AC cuts on and off, it will stir the dust in the air and you breathe that dust in. Now, primarily dust consists mostly of like dead skin cells and stuff like that. But if you're applying diatomaceous earth into your home, yes, some of that dust in the air is diatomaceous earth. Some of the dust in the air is actual silica dust, okay? Diatomaceous earth is mostly silica dust. It's, it's silica, okay? Silica is like sand. Sand is a silicate. They all fall under the same category. Asbestos is a silicate. Diatomaceous earth. It has silicates in it. It's a silicate, okay? You don't want to breathe it into your lungs. You know, some people ingest it. That's not the same. You know, that's stomach tissue, not lung tissue. You can put things in your stomach that you can't put in your lungs, okay? So I just wanted to address the safety issue of diatomaceous earth. It doesn't matter how safe you are when you apply it if you're not putting it in the right places. The places that I use a dust is in a wall void where no one's going to be exposed to it. Behind a baseboard where no one's going to be exposed to it except the bugs that crawl there, that live there. Okay? Those are the things that are going to be exposed to it. I definitely don't use it around maybe inside a box spring where, you, where it's still got the, the little felt pad on the bottom. 
but I've stopped doing that. I don't do that anymore. Since I started using Crossfire, you don't have to take uh, and dust inside the box spring anymore. You just remove that piece of fabric off the bottom of the box spring and you treat the inside of the box spring with Crossfire. That kills the bed bugs. That's more effective than diatomaceous earth. So my channel is built around safety. It's built around teaching people how I apply pesticides in a safe way that is safe for their children and their pets. My interest is not in harming you. My interest is in helping you, helping you get control of the situation that you're in. People hire me for pest control. That's, I mean, that's what I do for a living. But if you can't afford pest control and you want to do it right, you definitely can't afford diatomaceous earth because diatomaceous earth won't work. You're just wasting your money. You don't want to waste your money. Even if it's on a pesticide, you know, that you buy at Walmart or diatomaceous earth, if you're wasting your money, it's money that you should have spent elsewhere, that you could have saved for something that will actually work for you. Okay, so let's, let's address that. Let's address the whole, you know, monetization, okay? I am licensed in the state of Virginia. The way the law works in the United States, I am not allowed to apply pesticide for profit in any other state except the state I reside that I have a license in. Now, now if I got a license in North Carolina, I could treat in North Carolina. If I had a license in Tennessee, I could treat in Tennessee. If I had a license in Maryland, I could treat in Maryland. I don't. I just carry a Virginia state pest control license. So I'm only allowed to apply pesticides in Virginia for profit. So here's the thing. When people say the only reason that I make these videos is because I want to make money for myself and I'm tired of people being able to um, save money by just buying diatomaceous earth and doing it themselves. That is not the, I, I tell people the pesticides I use. I put them right out there in the open. I said, this is what I use in my business. These are the pesticides I use. This is what's safe to use around your family. These are the safe practices to use around your family. This is how you do it correctly. Don't pay for pest control. Do it this way and you can do it too. You can do what I do too. So I just want to address that. This is not about making money. This is not about people hiring me. This is not about being an advertiser or a big like like influencer in the pest control industry. I am not trying to influence people to buy from the pest control industry. I'm teaching people how to take control of their life and learn how to do their own pest control. That is what this channel is built around. So understand that diatomaceous earth is harmful. I've used it. I have used it. But I use it in wall voids, you know, in the wall where the bugs can get to it, but people can't. I've used it in mattresses. I've used it in box springs, not mattresses, but box springs. I've used it in a box spring years ago, like a long time ago. I've used it. I've, I, I, have, I don't have to use it anymore. You know, it does work. It is an effective pesticide. I'm not saying that it won't kill bugs. It doesn't kill bugs quick enough. Some bugs like roaches and bed bugs that develop resistance to a lot of these kind of things. They, it's not effective. It's just not effective. I know there's videos out there that try to say that all you need is heat and crushed up rocks to kill bed bugs. The two most effective methods for killing bed bugs are just crushed up rocks and really hot water. Which are it's not true. Diatomaceous earth is not crushed up rocks anyway. It's actually diatoms and silica powder mixed together. It's not actually crust up rocks. That's actually a, a, a misconception of what diatomaceous earth actually is. So hopefully this video will help you understand how to take control of your life. Y'all have a good one and I'll talk to you later. Thanks.